Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be talking about something that I absolutely hate and that I struggled with literally my whole life and I still struggle to this day. Like it still happens all the time and it's like so uncalled for. Okay, anyways, I'm going to be talking about blushing. So it really sucks because some people who are as pale as me don't blush and it's not obvious when they're nervous or, you know, like scared or anything like it's not obvious in their face it doesn't show whatsoever but my face is super transparent so whenever i am nervous mad i'm laughing my face literally turns like a freaking apple and it's so annoying like and i've struggled with this like literally my whole entire life probably since like middle school where like you know it was like super major like if anybody liked me oh you know like oh my god i like you you're so pretty blushing and it's like even if I didn't even think they were attractive or anything like that, my face would just completely and I'd be like, oh, thank you. And like, it didn't help that I wasn't like confident in my answers. So it was just like that awkward, like, eh, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, you know. Um, and then like presentations. Oh my God, presentations were the absolute worst. I would literally get up with my poster board or whatever. I think it was like science. Um, so I would get up with my po poster board and I would stutter my hands would sweat i would start sweating like really really bad i would not be able to look at the audience i would literally look at my freaking note cards and stutter while reading my note cards never looking up and like it was honestly just such a torture because it's like especially when they called your names like oh you know uh this person go this person's gonna go this day and this person's gonna go that day you know what i'm saying and like i would literally dread when it was my turn like maybe like 10 minutes before it was my turn to go i'd be like touching my face and i was like oh my god i'm gonna blush i'm gonna blush and you know what sucked in the end of it is when i honestly like i would get up there and i would say my speech and you know obviously botch it completely and then i would sit down and then the people around me oh why are you so red what why are you blushing so much and i'd be like you know what I know that my face is red, I know that I'm blushing, and I know that I look like a freaking tomato. You don't have to, tomato, tomato, you don't have to point it out, like, li that literally was one of my biggest pet peeves, because it's like, don't you think I know that my face is burning? Don't you think I know that I could cook, like, eggs on my face? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm well aware of the state of my face, like, I am... I know that I'm red, I know that I'm blushing, don't tell me, it makes it ten times worse. <sighs> Like, I hate that. Like, oh my god. It's just one of my biggest pet peeves. And, like, I think I've learned how to control it more, like, around my crushes or just, like, in any, like, situations where I'm just like, oh, you know? Um, I learned to definitely control it more, but it was just so bad. Like, even when people, like, I didn't find attractive, I didn't know them, they would say hi to me, and I just get so nervous. I remember this, this one time, uh, we were in English, right? And we were, like, supposed to be switching, so it was, like, a line, like, a line of people, like, five people, and then a line of five people here, and then we would, like, alternate, like, partners, I guess you could say. And then there was this guy who I didn't want to talk to because he looked super intimidating, and he, he was such a sweetheart. Like, he honestly is, like, a sweetheart. Like, I talk to him now, and... I don't know why I was so intimidated by him, but I got him, right? And it was only 30 seconds to share. I literally look up to him. I look down. My face started getting red, and I was all like, you, like, I'm really intimidated by you, or some, something along those lines. And it was just, like, silence, and I was just, like, staring at the ground, face all red, and he was just, like, smiling and, like, laughing, like, is this girl for real? And I was like, oh, please kill me. But, yeah, I've had so many stories where me turning red has affected, like, any conversations I've had with people and I honestly don't know why because I love talking to people like it's just there's just specific people or maybe like I thought they were super cool or like I thought something of them and it would just make me super nervous but now I have definitely been able to control it even if I think that person's cool even if I think that person is just like you know like popular or whatever I mean like back then high school like oh my god if you're popular I was like oh don't don't talk to me my face would like turn bright red you know but like now it's definitely gone away and I think the reason for that is because I am much more confident I am able to like talk oh another thing that really happened or happened another thing that really helped me is because I took these communications class in Sac City and oh my god like I hated that class hate slash love because like it really put myself out there and like made me be able to like talk the way I do with my hands I use my hands a lot like hand gestures um 
I'm not that good at it because I definitely need to practice more like on camera is one thing but being in front of the audience and be like hey what's up like oh my god you know my name's Arlette today I'm gonna be presenting da -da -da. like there's people who do that and I really wish I had that like attitude and like be able to be so confident in myself but I'm not in which it sucks because it's like oh my god hey my name is Arlette and today I'm gonna be presenting and like read off my note cards or sometimes I'll sound so monotone like I'll just be like a robot because I rehearsed it so many times oh my god yeah, but, um, and Fiend, that is one of the biggest struggles I've ever had when I was a little kid, still struggle to this day, but I definitely am not over, you know, over my head a lot, and if anybody watching this has problems with blushing, just, it'll fade away with time as you get more confident and more, you know, used to, like, if I blush, well, then it happens. If they say I'm red, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!